Hi everyone, we have made it through the week and this is your reading for Friday, October 26, 2018. I hope this week has treated you well. It's been a little bit hectic with the full moon energy and a lot of just stuff going on. I'm, I'm pretty sure there's some planets in retrograde right now. It's just kind of up. Energies are up in the air. Emotions are up in the air. So I do hope that this week has treated you well. Let's go ahead and get started. I am going to ask for your overall energy for this day. This is the energy that can guide this reading and let you know just kind of what energy is covering pretty much everything that you're doing today. So what is your overall energy what is your overall message for Friday, October 26, 2018? You have visions of life beyond death. I feel like this card popped up earlier this week or sometime last week, actually. But the message is similar. You're getting a message from either someone far, far beyond, someone who's passed away, or your guardian angels, or someone who lives, exists in the afterlife, or exists in that space that we like to think of as the afterlife or the unphysical. Whatever it is, there is a message coming to you. Someone is trying to get some knowledge to you. And you might see that in like pictures of loved ones or dreams of someone who's passed on trying to bring a message to you. So definitely pay attention to your dreams today. Definitely try to remember when you wake up what it was that you dreamed of, that you dreamt about. Um, what you may daydream about today, any random thoughts to come to you of people who may have passed on. This card, I think, speaks to the balance of your life, to creating stability in your life and power in your life. Listen to your intuition today, okay? So let's see what your aspirational card is. This is the card that is going to help guide you towards your highest good. It is going to tell you the energy that you can hope for if you're able to overcome your challenges for the day. It also tends to tell us a little bit more about the overall energy. So what is your aspirational card for Friday, October 26, 2018? Do you have death? Obviously, that doesn't mean you're aspiring to die today, um, but it does mean that change, a very drastic, big change is coming for you. And this card also... Um, if this was numeric, would come to another four. So at the moment you have like three fours going on and I do think that has a lot to do with the stability of your life. And with change, it could change so that your life is less stable or more stable depending on what we get with the rest of our cards. But there is a big change happening. There is some shift coming for you and some part of you that's going to have to be let go or have to end and you're going to be able to come through that with new hope and new ideas and a new understanding of this situation. It is very interesting that you have both visions of life beyond death and death itself. This is a huge shift for you and I do think it might have some sort of connection with someone who's passed on. Keep your eyes open for any messages that are coming for you. Check in on people that you love. Um, Make sure people are okay around you. There's a lot of stuff going on in the world right now. So check in on the people that you love and just make sure they're okay. Keep an eye out for any changes that are coming at you. Let's see what's challenging you on the physical side. What is your big challenge on the physical level concerning things like your body, your health, your relationships, your projects, your work? your home life, anything like that. So what is your challenge on the physical level for Friday, October 26, 2018? You have another four. You have the four of wands here. So there is some something going on with your home life. There is something going on with the stability that you feel about either your, your physical life or just life in general, whether it's spiritual, um, whether it's your mental state or your emotional state, your relationships, the, the, where you live, your job, there's something, because this is in your challenge position, there's something that you're feeling is unstable. And I do think with the wands, it might have to do with a job more than, um, more than maybe those other things, because this is about your, your projects. This is about your passions. This is about what, what, inspires you to move forward and right now there is some 
a lack of stability in this situation. You're really craving organization. You're really craving that comfort of knowing that you're okay where you are, but that's missing for you at the moment. You're feeling insecure. Maybe you want it to be happy in a certain way and it just isn't playing out that way. You're feeling very insecure and very unstable. So let's see what we can do to overcome this challenge. What can you do to deal with this instability, this lack of security that you're dealing with in your everyday life, in your relationship or in your job, in your home life? What can we do to deal with this instabil inst unstable situation that you found yourself in? How can you overcome this? You have the Five of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles. Interesting. So, yeah, like I said, I still think that this might have something to do with a job or with a career choice you're making. And you're really considering making a drastic change in that area, but you worry that it's going to completely fall apart. And you haven't really had the most success when you've tried to make changes or tried to do something different in this area. So that worry, it comes from somewhere. It comes from like a history of being intimidated by this issue. You run the risk of giving more than you have to give but this card the five of pentacles is telling you to not let intimidation stop you it's telling you not to let this fear or this worry stop you and this is telling you to be careful of how much you offer and how much you give without um, without being aware without paying attention to what you're giving to what energy what you're giving your energy to and how you're who you're supporting and what you're supporting, right? Pay attention to where you're putting your resources so that you can overcome this fear and this instability. A big issue you're dealing with could be overspending. It could be that you're working so hard for a job that doesn't pay you nearly as much as you're worth and you're afraid to break out of that because you, you're not sure what else is available. Like I said, you're intimidated. You're afraid of the change, you're afraid of the new thing that can come. But both of these cards are saying not only to not, to overcome that fear, to not let intimidation stop you, but to start to pay more attention to where you're putting your resources in, where you're putting your energy. Okay, so let's see what's challenging you on the mental, emotional, and or spiritual level. This is going to tell you a little bit more about what's going on inside and maybe even why you're so intimidated to make that change, why you're feeling so insecure and so unstable in your home life or relationship or job or whatever it is that applies to you. This is a general reading. So what's going on, what's challenging you on the mental, emotional, and spiritual level for Friday, October 26, 2018? You have the devil. So there's some some temptation you're dealing with. And it's kind of blinding you to getting out of here. And it could be that you're letting yourself become a victim of abuse. You could be um, letting yourself stick in a bad situation because you don't know what else is available. You don't know what else is out there. And you're just really afraid of, of trying something new or getting out of this situation of meeting new people or changing new things. But the devil card says that, you know, you're kind of stuck in a situation almost of a type of bondage, whether that's a bondage to addiction, whether you're you're stuck in an abusive relationship, abusive situation, whether, um, you know, you're letting yourself be controlled in some way. You are just kind of stuck in this situation. You don't see a way out. It just, everything around you is kind of dark everything around you every other option scares you but this card says that this situation is there's no good that's going to come from it the situation is bound to fail and that's kind of what your mind is telling you that this is going to fail and there's no way out you're stuck in this situation is how you're feeling so let's see what you can do to overcome that feeling to kind of free yourself from either this abuse this dominance this addiction maybe that you're dealing with whatever it is that's holding you down and keeping you from feeling like you can move forward and uh, make change in your life 
and heal. Let's see what you can do to overcome this. You have the Empress. And the Ace of Wands. So the Emperor speaks to treating yourself with loving, nurturing care, um, really seeing what you need emotionally and allowing yourself to explore that. It's also telling you to, to listen to your passions, listen to the voice inside of you that is saying you want to be free because you do, you absolutely do. But the way for you to do that is to give yourself this love you've been denying to yourself. You've been holding back and not taking care of yourself as much to to appease someone else or to appease whatever it is that's holding you down if it's an addiction instead of you know taking care of yourself and doing taking the steps to break away from that addiction you've been letting yourself be held into it and telling yourself that there's no way to break away from it there's no way to heal from it but there is and you have to give yourself that care you have to take care of yourself and remember what inspires you remember what what makes you want to live every day what makes you want to get out of bed every day and if you can't think of something then you need to take some time within yourself and really really listen to your heart really listen to your intuition ask your guides ask your spirit guides ask those who have gone beyond and who have passed on so that they can help guide you you know, if you have a good relationship with your mother or your grandmother, now is a good time to reach out to them and get their guidance and get their nurturing and say, you know what, mama, I need some help. Mama, I need, I need your love. And let, let their love fill your heart so that you're able to move out of this situation. It's really time for you to get in touch with your passions. It's really time for you to get in touch with your senses, get in touch with your sensuality. Get in touch with the things that, like I said, make you feel alive. Find what it is that gives you that joy, that gives you that passion, that gives you that drive. And really dig into it and let it pull you away from this situation. Let it pull you away from this addiction or this abusive relationship or hard job that you're in or whatever it is that you're feeling stuck in, you're feeling trapped in. There is a way out. And the way out is through love, it is through nurturing yourself, and it is through finding your passions. Don't ignore this chance to make this change for yourself, because where you are right now is not where you belong. And that's probably the message that's coming to you, that where you are is not where you belong, and it is time for you to heal yourself so that you can move forward and so that you can make a big change. It is time for you to readjust where you're putting your energy and to overcome any intimidation that is in front of you and nurture yourself and nurture your passions so that you can move forward. Let's see what your energy is to close out this day. How are you going to end this Friday and pretty much end this week? So what is your energy for the end of Friday, October 26th? 2018. How are you going to close out this day? You have the Queen of Swords and the Emperor, another four. And that's that's what I was kind of saying. You need to really find this balance that you're lacking in your life. It's time to try to get organized and uh, don't don't get organized towards something that's not speaking to you listen to your passions listen to your heart nurture the the things that make you feel alive and really really take a chance take a moment to look at your your life look at where you are right now if you're not happy there's a reason for that and there's a way around that okay take some time to really Really get in touch just with what inspires you. What did you want to do as a kid? What made you excited when you were a teenager? What made you want to go to the school that you're going to or pursue the career you're pursuing? Or what career did you want to pursue before you fell into the one you're in? Okay, what is it that gets you going? What is it that drives you? Really think about that. At the end of this day, you're going to be on your way to reorganizing your life. If you're able to overcome these challenges, you'll be able to, to think logically about how you can move forward and how you can change your situation. 
okay? Let's see what your energy is for the weekend. That is your reading for Friday. Let's see what your overall energy is for Saturday and Sunday. What is your energy over the weekend of Saturday and Sunday, October 27th and October 28th? What messages do we have to guide you for this coming weekend? Have been sent. We have another double number. We have 33 here. That is a number of fulfillment. That is a number of, you know, absolute perfection, roundness. This message that is coming to you, it is from someone beyond. It is from either your angels, your spirit guide, someone who's passed on before you, and they're trying to help you. They're trying to pull you out of this situation that isn't going to lead to, to help, to health for you. It's not going to lead to positivity for you. And they're trying to bring you into a better life. They're trying to bring you to a point where you're feeling passionate and alive and where you're free of this thing that is holding you down, this thing that is holding you back. Listen to the messages that are coming for you. Listen to your intuition so that you can be guided, so that you can move forward, because this message is somewhere far beyond what we know, far beyond us. If you're dealing with worry or stress or anxiety or any of these negative emotions, there is a reason for that. You have to figure out what that reason is and what it is that's holding you in this dark place. And then you will be able to overcome it if you follow the, the advice given to you by this creature from beyond, by this being, by this spirit. The advice given to you to overcome these challenges. Then you will find positive change and you will see that there is hope amongst all of the darkness you're experiencing. All right, that is your reading. I do hope that you have a wonderful weekend. I do hope that whatever you're going through, you're able to come through and heal from and grow from so that you can find that love and that passion and that amazing comfort and stability that everyone deserves to have. Everyone with love and goodness in their heart deserves to know that stability. So I do hope that that comes to you in time. It is not going to happen overnight, but these messages are bringing you the portent of change, the beginning of change. I'll see you Monday. I do hope that you have a wonderful and beautiful weekend, and remember always that I love you. Bye.